Weather 12 forecast. All right, the bulk of the heavy rain, of course, the strong wind long gone. We're still left with kind of gray and damp conditions, some fog, a little bit of mist and some sprinkles. But with each passing hour this evening, uh, the weather will be drying out. If you're heading out tonight, there were, certainly it's not stormy, but it's not clear and sunny either. We take a look at Newport now. Low clouds. You can barely see uh, the Newport Pell Bridge uh, off, where is it? off in the distance right in here. So we still have some of that. A lot of moisture in the atmosphere as far as humidity, but heavy rain is gone. Temperatures in the 50s, 55 in Providence to Bedford 57 and lower 50s along the South Shore to cool to the 40s during the overnight and to early tomorrow morning. Threat tracker is low tonight through Saturday and on into Sunday. Nothing really high impact or stormy on the way. With that uh, said, Saturday, okay. I mean, certainly better than today. Now, it's mostly cloudy, breezy, and cool. There'll be a few isolated showers. I just don't want to give the impression that Saturday is a washout or it's a rain day where you're just kind of stuck in the house and it's raining hour after hour. There'll be like isolated passing showers, but dry periods as well. And, you know, optimistic about Sunday as well, even though towards the end of the day near sunset, the chance for some showers will go we'll start with sunshine. Clouds will increase in the afternoon, milder, and then either late day or early evening, some showers coming through. The heavier rain from the downpours from this morning have moved offshore. We widen out the view. If you trace the motion of both the clouds and the precipitation, the radar echoes, you can see sort of this counterclockwise swirl near the ground and even high up in the atmosphere. It's called an upper level low. And when you have these around during the springtime season, it tends to keep the weather cool with more clouds than sun. And that's the situation coming up for Saturday. So when we take this into the future, again, this evening is fine. We jump ahead now to Saturday with more clouds than sun. And if you look very closely, these little isolated speckles of green indicating this is the afternoon of a few isolated showers. Not every town gets one. It doesn't last very long. Now, Saturday evening, Saturday night overall is dry. Sunday, not bad. In fact, starting off pretty nice with sunshine during Sunday morning. Clouds increasing in the afternoon, but staying dry. And then towards either very late day or near sunset, you see right in here, a system dropping out of upstate New York will give us some scattered showers Sunday evening, Sunday night, and then back to sunshine. It is gorgeous. Patriots Day Monday and for the marathon, sunny skies and uh, warmer conditions. Temperatures tomorrow are generally under breezy conditions uh, in the middle 50s. The breeze may make it feel cooler. And again, an isolated shower can't be ruled out. Again, temperatures in the 50s. Forecast for this evening, uh, gradually drying out. Temps in the upper 40s. We jump ahead to both uh, tomorrow morning, uh, looking at increasing Increasing clouds, breezy, dry, temperature at around 50 at 11 a.m. The, the isolated shower chances, though, do increase uh, in the afternoon hours, looking at temperatures in the mid 50s. Again, Saturday is not a washout. And overall, most of Sunday looking good is towards Sunday evening. We'll see some showers. Boy, Monday and Tuesday, the start of school vacation week is looking pretty nice.